Um, where was your boot camp located? Fort Lewis, Washington, where it rained every day. What was your experience like in the boot camp? It made me stronger. It made me um, uh, get along with other people that was in the same uh, barracks where I lived and stayed and then trained with. It also made me uh, beef like I uh, like I am now all beefed up because uh, they made us do exercise out in the rain, uh, uh, push-ups, running, jogging, carrying a weapon over our heads, and all of that. So I feel that it um, was better than going to the gym, um, and it did make me slim down and made me muscular. Can you describe in more detail what your boot camp was like? Yes. Uh, we had to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. We had to get along and live with people that we didn't know from all over, uh, people from Idaho, people from um, uh, Utah. So I got uh, white people, black people, Latino people, Filipino people, uh, different races of people, but this country didn't have the diversity that we have right now. Um, um, and so it was a, it was a diverse group of uh, young men that was in the military. Did you ever experience any racial issues amongst you guys? Yes, um, but I didn't experience it directly because um, being raised in San Francisco, work, you know, interacting with diverse uh, ethnicities and cultures, um, I had the ability to get along with people because my philosophy, if you bring respect and respect, first of all, you got to respect yourself, and then if you bring respect, people will respect you. So all through the military, I did not have any personal um, discrimination, oppression, but I did see it with others. Did you see it like soldier to soldier, or did you see it from like higher-ranking officers? Both. Okay. What was basic training like? Basic training was where you were away from home. Uh, I think it was nine weeks or something like that, over two months. And you were with a bunch of people that you didn't know and that you had to learn to get along with. You had a drill sergeant that would wake you up, call you all kind of names, would use profanity at you, call you uh, sissies, uh, homophobic things that people don't do as much today. Uh, they would use that. They would make fun of you if you were from California uh, and say, oh, uh, you know, based on uh, the gay population in San Francisco especially, and they would generalize it to the California, and then when they knew I was from San Francisco, uh, they would crack jokes and stuff like that. But uh, all, I, all it was was to try to make people not lazy and see how much you could take. Because if you could take it in training and be trained and learn how to shoot, part of the training was exercise every day. Then you'd have to eat their food on a silver, on a aluminum tray. And go, and then you'd have to do KP, kitchen police. That means you got to wash the dishes. You got to peel potatoes and all of that kind of stuff. You got, you know, so it would be a routine where different uh, barracks or different groups of young men uh, they would have to pull KP. That means they would wash dishes. They would have to uh, set up the tables with silverware and all that kind of stuff. So it really brought you down to nothing. And had and what it all it was was to indoctrinate you not to be about you, but to be to try to build a team and to make men stronger.